Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to another nostalgic review with The Domain. In this series we've been going through 2009, 10 and a little bit into 2011 just showcasing all the great innovations and real progress that Mega has made as a brand. And yet again they're proving themselves today with this Covenant Banshee. The only Banshee we'd got before was with the Aerial Ambush and it was a bit shoddy. Same with the original Ghost that was improved with a further iteration of the Ghost. This is a big step up. Maybe Mainly what Mega's been doing is making sure that all of their sets are more streamlined, thinner, more ergonomic, and this really does prove that. I really like this Banshee, and I think it actually stands up against current iterations of Banshee. I've not been as big of a fan of the Banished Banshees. I love that we're getting this classic purple look back with the Arbiter's Quest, and this is also a time to show off a new mold as well they'd introduce the Covenant Flight Elite. And really, just when you look at the small amount, this still says 2010 on it, man. Like, this is less than two years since they launched the product line. They've had the Pelican as the flagship alongside the Short Sword. They introduced new molds like the Hayabusa and the Jackal and the Marine. And now they've got the Covenant Flight Elite, which it was about time because the original Elite, it had been done to death. And we had had a really nice new iteration or a new color styling of that original Elite with the the Covenant Wraith, but it was time for a new Sangheili rank to join Mega Bloks forces, and they did so in a really stylized way. This figure is actually very similar to a Armory Pack Elite that we got around the same time, a Target exclusive, and it also came to Morrison's in the England for some reason. I, I love this one. I love the light blue effect on his chest that matches, is it light blue or is it very lilac? Matches his shoulder and this little dot on his head, and we got this Flight Elite in some blind bags and in a few sets in the future until it was retired uh, to really to make way for new articulation. We certainly got it uh, even with like armory packs. We got it quite a lot. Comes with the brand new plasma pistol. And this was kind of needed because we only had the carbine and the beam rifle. So grunts that came in sets didn't really have a weapon. Brutes had their brute shot and now the spiker that was also introduced this year. So the plasma pistol was much appreciated. I love the new style plasma pistol that is just even further shrunk down. And all in all, this figure is exceptional with that new plasma pistol. Mega would just go in all out, man. Like, I think they saw the opportunity to really just seize the market with Halo Mega Bloks, and they went in. And I think it proved very fruitful for many years. There's a lot of really cool features on this Banshee, including these little plasma pistols. Plasma pistols? Plasma guns? I don't know. A couple more gizmos at the back. On the sides, we've got printed detailing. Hello, printed detailing. You really have to have printed when it's on a uh, 3D surface like that. But there is a sticker that wraps around this uh, cannon as well. Or this booster rocket. I guess it's a booster. I always thought these boosters would have been a bit better underneath. It seems a bit weird that there's this like... Um... I don't know, sort of jagged out bit here, but I, I've never really thought that much into it. And the back wings are attached in by these studs. These wings are more detailed than anything we've got in recent Banshees, let me tell you that much. These transparent bricks hold it all into place nicely. I don't think they're that necessary, but I think mainly they're there to avoid a kid pressing like that and snapping the connector rods, which is probably a smart move. Inside the cockpit, another transparent piece. Yes, an Elite can hold on to that pretty well. As I showed with the uh, Locus review, the Elite can't really even get inside. And the Banshee, uh, it's it's a really snug fit for this uh, this poor Sangheili, but he can do it, like he can manage. And this is the same head as the Locus as well. But there's a mix of printed colors and stickers on this one. Another sticker there and transparent bricks to hold it up. And these wings are also a really nice design. Again, locked into place by these boosters. Just, just really seamlessly, to be honest. I love that purple from the Covenant. I've been more converted to Banished Red recently, but I don't know, you you review these old sets and you're like, you know what? That, that Covenant purple is pretty nice. We'll see what my opinions on the Arbiter's Quest are when I get that set. Update, I filmed this a year ago and I now have the Arbiter's Quest and oh my goodness, it's the best set ever. I am all Covenant. Covenant Kirkle? <laughs> Covenant Purple. I'm Team Covenant Kirkle now. Let me know in the comments down below, did you manage to get this? Or let me know in the comments, which was your first Banshee? I would love to know. And how many of the Banshees, which ones are you missing? Let me know in the comments down below. I also want to give one last shout out to the bullet holes in this. Gives a way more realistic effect, like these uh, vehicles are actually in battle. I really wish Mega would bring them back, to be honest. So the Covenant Banshee is a quality addition to your Covenant army. And as always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. Thank you very much for the support on this video 
video series, particularly the nostalgic videos. I think uh, people are really going to enjoy these and I'm mass reviewing like this is my 11th review today. It's crazy. Big shout out especially to my patrons. You can support me on Patreon. Link in the description below for $3 or more and you are helping this channel keep on going. The Banshee is signing off. See you next time.